Mm. Let's do it. Oh, look at that. I'm not talking all of a sudden. I'm... Maybe I should like stop this early, even though. <laughs> in, in this in this particular recording session, we've been going for 53 minutes. <laughs> but uh, what the fuck, stupid ass turtle, bitch. <laughs> I guess I didn't land right on top of your ass. Okay. What am I got? Mm. If I remember right, this level, or no, I'm thinking of the Great Gate, which we also have to go back to. Can't go back to until we get the yellow zone. Tunnel token. Oh. oh man! Oh man! Uh. <laughs> see, I, see, I'm, I'm talk about nothing. I guess it's because I already like did this level or something. I already did this level. Oh, no, not you again. Not again. Not that shit again. Mm. Even the crash one, they had ice physics. Or, or grass physics, more like. And in crash three, it's oil physics. Yeah. Jeez. What? I was about to jump. I was about to prepare for a jump, but I guess it wasn't happening. At least I'm kind of back up to max lot. <laughs> All right. Not anymore. The nigga you thought. I hate these fuckers so much. It's like, get out of here. <laughs> Come on. This is, this is an early game stage. What the fuck are you, what the fuck do I look like? You know, fucking these jumps up. There's simple jumps up. Um, well, not really early game, but it's still pretty freaking easy. It's supposed to be in there. <laughs> All right, that is <laughs> stupid. What? Um, this monkey and its stupid ass physics. Oh my God. <laughs> Frieza was right. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh my God. Um, oh shit. I was not supposed to do that. <laughs> That's for, that was a pretty wild thing to say. Uh, yeah, there was, there's a, another, what's up there, which I guess, I guess the freaking, um, you know, arrow crate, the bounce crate, is supposed to clue you in on that. That was pretty easy to of stage. Says the nigga who missed it, <laughs> who messed it up, you know. This one, uh, this one ain't too taxing from what I remember. There's an Aku mask. There's an Aku mask somewhere up here. I don't really want it that bad. Yeah, see, it's right there. Mm. Four, five. All right. Oh, 
I'm not gonna make this. <laughs> didn't I, um... I, now I think I'm sorry, didn't I have trouble with this, like... in the... I don't know, man. If I don't place, yeah, if I'm not placing my jump like pixel fucking perfect. Jeez. Uh, uh, all right, fine. You know. Nope. <laughs> no, no, no. You gotta time that too. Why am I messing this up so much? <laughs> this is really fucking bad. What? I thought you were gonna jump on. I thought you were gonna bounce the way you suddenly walk on it. <laughs> Crash. Wonky dick. No. <laughs> I've already hired you. I but I already do enough. Um, you know, stealing catchphrases and shit from other LPs. All right, bounce, but only white bounce, and then high bounce on that. Okay, I think. What? Get out of here. <laughs> hmm. Better. All right. All right. Two. Uh, two one-ups, which I collected when I said, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, my God. So, yeah, the, the gem platform takes you all the way up here. Pretty cool. I, I, bet, I bet you never would have guessed. Bet you never would have guessed that this was up here, huh? That's why I'm... But that's why I like, uh, I'm a, that's why I like secret areas. And then, um, yeah, you remember in Castlevania, uh, when I was playing Symphony, Symphony of the Night, I had this one whole, um, uh, argument, one whole rant about how I love when they put, like, super secret areas in the first area of the game or something like that. And, yeah, this is, uh, kind of that to me. This is, uh, just kind of cool. It's just kind of a cool, you know, cool little area above the clouds. Yeah, walking clouds. Yeah, like Mario. Like Mario 3 or something. Alright. You can see, even see the other islands from there. Um. Now, the in the PS1 version, this other gem platform wasn't here, so you had to kind of blind, kind of blind jump off of it. <laughs> but luckily, in the insane, um, in the insane version, they give you a nice little platform like you down gently. Alright. 39. Yeah, I've been to the, that tunnel stage, right? Mm, I don't care. What? <laughs> I pressed X. I was holding X. Oh, and I gotta do that shit all over again. I don't care. I do not care. Oh, I hate that. I hate that part right there. Izzy, you probably you probably can't get by there if without taking a hit if you like 
maybe jump on the first and third ones, but I gotta tell ya. Oh man. Take me back up to 95 or to 99, please. Right there. One more. One more. Where is it? There we go. Yes. <laughs> A gem is ours. And yep, like I said before, they added this platform. Like in case you mix, missed out, in case you missed that one box. And just, <laughs> just jump on the wall. Which is pretty, uh, <laughs> uh, I've seen it happen myself. Well, not myself, but I've seen a video of it happen. Where to next? What else did I say? Yeah, Road to Nowhere. Oh, God. Mm. This is going to break the crates. We don't have to... Okay, now. Nah. Do -do -do. Uh, this level also has a weird... A uh, puzzle segment where you have to. Oh, oh my god. Oh yeah, Tana tokens. I guess I gotta collect them too. Yeah, this puzzle also has a kind of weird uh, puzzle segment with involving. involving, um. involving exclamation mark boxes and all that. We'll see that once we get to the red gem platform, or one of them. I gotta say, though, I'm, is like, despite all the, the retries and shit, I've been having a lot of fun with this, actually. You know? It's just cool. I mean, I know, I know it's like the updated Insane. You know, a remake and all that. And you know, they've they've added some uh, quality of life updates and all that shit to make it not as strenuous. But this is still a pretty good time. So yeah, this this right here, you need to hit this one. I guess. Um bounce up there. Oh well. Um, shit. I guess you can't do that. And then... Yeah. And then I guess... I guess this, uh, last... This last TNT, TNT crate is here. So you can blow up that one. Without spinning it like I had to. What have we got? But I guess that's all it was. That wasn't as bad. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Oh my god. <clears throat> you know what? This is the thing, though. It's like only 42 boxes. It's like going back to Crash 4. Man, I'm. I wish the levels weren't so long, bro. <laughs> they were so long. They feel so long. They look. It's like the first level, I think the lowest, the lowest, uh, the lowest uh, amount of boxes that a level can have. Oh shit, I gotta go back and do that thing. Wait a minute. Where is it? Yeah, in Crash 4, I think the, low, the lowest amount of boxes that a level can have is 104. 104 boxes in one level and that's the first fucking level it's crazy did i because i know i'm supposed to have 26 right i'm supposed to have wait let me backtrack a bit <laughs> i think i might have to restart the level um Alright, yeah, you know what? Alright. Uh, you wait right there. I'll be back for you. 
Yeah, I think what happened is that when I died, I just continued on without going on the red gem path again because I needed to. I, I gotta do all this stuff again. You gotta do that, and then this. Man, that's like really kind of do or die, isn't it? And of course, the one up, uh, the one up boxes there aren't one up boxes anymore because I fucked up. All right, now we can take this back. And checkpoint box, so we won't have to do that. I, I don't want to go back there. Yeah, that's, this this right here is probably the checkpoint box that I broke and probably caused that. I was like, shit, I have to go back. And then going back there. <clears throat> oh, shit. Yeah. Please don't, like, they'll walk into the gap. God, that was so stupid how I kept doing that. So we got to, oh yeah, this, this one. Mm-hmm. I know that's so boring for that, uh-huh. Like that one guy was like, uh-huh. Oh, front, you know, with that one guy from the Bill Nye videos. Uh huh. Uh, yep. Yeah. Mm. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. And there goes the end of the level, except not because we need to take the red jump platform. It just takes you right over here. Oh, man. But you know what else? I had that coming, I guess. But I can't see with like the freaking light streaks. With that, what? Excuse me. Can I like, uh, yeah, see, there's a, there's a, there's a little panel there indicated by the one fruit. And then there's two more there, two more there, two more there, two more there. And Sazam. Last two boxes. That's road to nowhere done. Or, yeah, that was road to nowhere. <laughs> I forgot for a second. 19 gems. Hmm. Oh Alright, so... Should I stop here? I don't want to. I really don't want to. Yeah, you know what? Because we, we still got... um. Oh my god. <laughs> we still got some pretty tough levels uh, ahead of us. Oh, what, Coco? Uh, no, I think we'll just stick with Crash for the. I, I forgot about Crash. I forgot about Coco. Yeah, we'll stick with Crash for the rest of this adventure. Um, maybe play as Coco in some of the bonus levels. Um, so yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. And uh, so we're gonna thank y'all so much for watching this part of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. And next time, we'll actually finish the game. I know I said this time we'll finish the game, but. Next time, we'll finish the game. And you know what? I should save, too. Uh, yes. Dude. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so... Next time we'll come with the... Next time we come back here, we'll finish the game. Oh, actually, we'll do the secret levels first. 
We'll do the last few regular levels and then the secret levels and then we'll finish the game. All right. So thank y'all for watching. Bye-bye.